Yo, 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 what's good with it? It's the homie Mac. Music, art, culture, knowledge, each one, teach one. Reporting live from the Dogon, 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 on peace and love to all. Real quick, thumbs up, give me the likes. Subscribe to this YouTube channel, 82 Kings. Got a lot of dope content here. Um, this is another session of Mac Minutes. Um, yeah, uh, basically I want to talk about Snowfall. Snowfall, um, to give context, it takes place in the 80s. It basically highlights the uh, meteoric rise, if you will, of the crack era. Um, we've seen this scenario time and time again through cinema, through television, you know, um, you know, uh, billion, million dollar dream in a cocaine scheme, you know, bleed the block, sell dope, make it big, and then he dies or goes to jail. Like, we've seen this scenario play out a lot. Um, the thing that I liked about, uh, um, I still, well, first of all, let me say this. I still think The Wire is the best ever. <laughs> Wire, the Wire is the best show ever um, when it comes to this context. But the thing that I really did, and The Wire touched on this too, but um, enough about The Wire. Um, we're talking about Snowfall. On Snowfall, I like how it just wasn't hood shit. Um, it talked about pretty much how chemical warfare Population control was waged on the black community by way of the government. Uh, I like how they talk about the political landscape of, of it all. Not even just the political landscape, the geopolitical landscape. Saying how basically the whole Iran Contra affair with the hostages, um, the 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 Sandinista guerrillas, the war that was going on in Central America, and how all these dynamics played into the crack era. How pretty much again, um, America wanted to stop the spread of communism. There was a fear that communism was going to spread in Central America. Uh, so basically, uh, through, through, <laughs> through, through the distribution of crack, cocaine, uh, the government was able to buy arms to supply the San Diego guerrillas who were trying to overthrow the government or stop the regime in Central America. I can't remember exactly which country in Central America it was. I want to say Nicaragua. Yeah, I want to say Nicaragua. Um, Fact check me. But yeah, I like uh, Franklin Saint was my favorite character. Uh, spoiler alerts. I will be, there are spoiler alerts. I'll put that in the description. Um, just in case you haven't seen it. If you haven't seen the, the season finale of Snowfall. Um, but I, I like uh, R.I.P. John Singleton too. I like how uh, this show outlined government involvement and I like how there was a lot of uh, political commentary uh, Leon was uh, talking about he wanted to get out of the game because he saw um, what the war on drugs was going to become and how uh, there would be legislation and laws passed that would lock up a lot of black people because um, they would give them more time for powder for uh, rock cocaine than powder cocaine um, yeah I don't just to keep it a buck with you, I don't like the way Snowfall ended, but I get it. Um, Franklin saying again, Franklin was Franklin. Uh, well, Jerome was probably my favorite character, but I like I, I like Franklin a lot. I don't know, maybe I had a little bit of Stockholm syndrome with Franklin. I don't know. I identified with the villain, um, but I think Franklin had a good intention. Um, I just think. He, his mind became his worst enemy. I think he became a little greedy. Uh, not to say that he wasn't betrayed. There were things that Louis did going behind his back to get the plug. Different things like that. That uh, I do feel like people kind of turned on him. But at the end of the day, he became his own worst enemy. Um, I don't think that... I, for some reason, I think he thought the government is just going to give me my $37 million back and I'm going to ride off into the sunset. It's like, no, Franklin, they're going to be on your ass for the rest of your life. Um, that's why I believe his mother did what she did in killing Teddy, Teddy the CIA agent. Um, I, I thought it was interesting when Teddy, Teddy told Franklin, this isn't your money. This is, this, these are illegal funds. <laughs> this, 
the hypocrisy of Teddy saying that. But I think uh, Teddy had a, I think he was delusional in his uh, patriotism. Uh, but that's a whole other conversation. But by that, I'm just saying, like, I think he, he justified the things he was doing in his mind because he felt like it was all a means to an end, an end in uh, securing the safety and democracy of America, which we all know is bullshit, but I think that's what he told himself. Um, I like how Oso got away. I like how Leon, you know, got on track and, and, and it ended well for him. For him. But I heard actually Leon and Wanda are gonna have their own spinoff of the show. Uh, I'm interested to see how that goes, we'll see. Um, I like how they paid homage to uh, John Singleton by showing, uh, you know, that final conversation that Leon and uh, Franklin had out there walking through LA, through South Central. And uh, they basically showed John Singleton filming Boys in the Hood. You saw the, you know, Little Trey and, um, you know, Little Doughboy, uh, <laughs> um, Little Ricky with the football. You saw all of them, you know, setting up to shoot. So I thought that was dope the way they paid homage to him. Um, I get it. Like, Franklin did a lot of stuff. He killed, he killed a lot of people. Uh, he sold death. Um, he hurt a lot of people. Um, so I understand how, you know, he wasn't just going to necessarily ride off into the sunset. And I guess his, his, uh, what is it, restitution, um, was uh, the fact that he became an alcoholic. Um, he had nothing, he had no money. He, he was living, I mean, his house, he wasn't paying taxes on the home when he was about to get evicted. Uh, he clearly was delusional, his mind, his reality, his mindset was altered. Um, you know, he went from having a lot of money to asking Leon for $20 to go to the corner store. For $10 to go to the corner store. Um, so yeah, it was sad to see um, how things ended up ended up for Franklin. But we know watching the night with this, you either go you either go to jail or you die. Or you become a fiend. That happens a lot. Um, seen that in the hood. I've seen that personally in the hood. Guys that were hustlers that started off selling, ended up using and abusing. Um, but yeah, again, there was th this this show is replete with social commentary. I liked how Leon uh, got the France Fanon book, uh, Wretched of the Earth, and, and passed it over to Franklin. I don't think Franklin actually read it, but I liked how they showed Leon's uh, socio-political awareness. Or his, uh, it's been bastardized now, but he became woke. The term itself has been bastardized. I think people, we've made a mockery of the word woke. Um, being politically or conscious and aware, I think it's cool, but I think it's been turned into something else. It's been completely denigrated and recycled. Um, but yeah, I, uh, Snowfall was dope, six seasons. Uh, I know, uh, I think the show, it, it, it gave a true context for California, Southern California, um, and you know, the Bay Area, even when they were up in Oakland and they got the plug. I think RZA, the RZA played the plug. I can't remember the the name of the dealer, but RZA played that dealer. Um, I like how they just, I think it was true to California culture, especially South Central, the way they outlined gang culture, gang culture in Inglewood, South Central. Uh, I want to say Scully probably was from Inglewood family, but that's a whole, <laughs> that's a whole nother rabbit hole. Uh, but yeah, um, and I want to say Franklin, the area that he was serving and living was like Roman 40s, Roman 40s Crips, that area. Um, and maybe even a little bit of Hoover. Um, but yeah, I uh, I think Snowfall had a uh, <clears throat> had a rhyme and reason to it. It wasn't just hood shit. Um, if you look at it beyond um, a surface level, there was a lot of, again, geopolitical commentary. Snowfall was a great show. I hate that it's over, but all things, all good things must come to an end, I guess. It is what it is. Uh, but it's the homie Mac, man. Um, like, share, comment, subscribe. Thumbs up, give me the likes. Thumbs up, give me the likes. I need y'all to uh, help me. I need y'all to uh, make the algorithm feel me, man. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Um, yeah, but uh, Snowfall is a dope show. Um, I think it's something that's going to resonate through the annals of history. 
in context of just cinema. Well, not it's not really a movie, but television. Uh, again, I, I feel like it was uh, replete with a lot of social and political commentary. Um, and I think it also it accentuated how um, America is a, is a villainous empire. <laughs> Um, how America would do whatever to secure the means to the end, to its desired end. Um, and I think, again, that's the, that's the paradigm that Teddy had. But anyway, let me get up out of here. It's the homie Mac, man. Thumbs up, give me the likes. Signing off from the Dogon. Peace.